Some would argue that the Rocks of Bonn is a County Meath song. But is it? There is indeed a townland called Bonn in Meath, but there's also a Bonn in counties West Meath, Leash, Louth, Leitrim, Longford, Offaly, Mayo, Cork, Tipperary and Kildare. Additionally, Bonn is in the parish of Mullahoran, South West Cavan, near the Longford border, not far from Granard. Shasu Uheni, the acclaimed traditional singer from County Galway, attributed the song's geographical roots to the craggy fields of Connemara. But folk song collector Sam Henry placed it firmly in Cavan. Henry began looking for the song in 1924, and after two years' search, he said, he sourced the words from County Derry man Patrick Ligon and the melody from Jim Doherty, also from County Derry. Henry further stated that Pat McGill had heard the song at a fair in Straban, County Tyrone. Songwriter and novelist Dominic Bean was of the opinion that it could well have been written by a cavern man, Martin Sweeney, of whom little is known. Similarly, Anton McGowan, an accomplished fiddler from Cavan, believes the ballad was composed in his home county, and a T.G. Cahar documentary from 2016 shows presenter John Spillane conducting an interview with McGowan in a rock-studded field in Bonn. Eking out a living on unforgiving plots of land was the lot of many Irish families, so it's not at all surprising that the Rocks of Bonn became popular, especially among those who boarded the emigrant ship. Observations made by one emigre, Joseph Maguire, reinforced the belief that the song had Ulster roots. Born in 1899 in Ballina Mallard, County Fermanagh, Maguire left Ireland for New York at the age of 24. Apart from opening and running a successful restaurant on 157th Street on Broadway, he contributed a series of articles called Old Irish Ballads to the Advocate newspaper. On the 2nd of July 1938, Maguire asked readers to send him the words of the Rocks of Bonn, adding that he had heard it sung many years ago by a venerable old farmer one fair evening in Virginia County Cavan. He also recalled that the farmer refused to supply him with the words, saying that he was acting in the best interest of he and the song, so he preferred to keep it out of circulation. Two months later, having received welcome responses from four readers, Maguire decided to publish their names and addresses. Patrick Golden, from 188 Garfield Place in Brooklyn, responded. So too did Jack McCabe in Brooklyn, Peggy McGuinness in New Jersey, and Frank Johnson in Long Island. Though he did not say which lines were collected from whom, Maguire included five verses of the Rocks of Bonn as part of his column, the first verse beginning with Come all ye gallant heroes, wherever you may be, don't hire with a master until your work you see. The opening line of the fifth verse is particularly noticeable, a classic example of a song being adapted to suit the vagaries and politics of the time. I wish that de Valera had written me in time, and placed me in a regiment whilst in my youth and prime. In Songs of the People, Sam Henry gave this line as, I wish the Queen of England had sent for me in time. And Shosu Uhini rendered it as, I wish the Queen of England would send for me in time. Later versions replaced the Queen of England with the King of England, or with the Sergeant Major, even with Patrick Sarsfield. If we presume for a moment 
that the ballad was composed in the 19th century, the Queen of England reference would make sense, since Queen Victoria reigned from 1837 to 1901, a period in which thousands of Irishmen opted to join the British army rather than labour on poor land. Having said that, it may have been written earlier, when George III was the British monarch. Maybe it was composed by one of the many Irishmen who survived the horrors of the Battle of Waterloo. But all of this is mere speculation. It's little wonder that countless renditions of the Rocks of Bonn have been recorded. The five-verse ballad reads like a little five-act play in which Sweeney, the overworked and underpaid ploughman, takes centre stage along with his unsympathetic boss or master. In verses one, two and five, we hear from the aggrieved ploughman and in verses 3 and 4, from the master who sees Sweeney as a work-shy loafer. And so ends the story behind The Rocks of Bonn. Ah, come all you gallant heroes Wherever you may be Don't tire with a master Until your work you see For you'll have to rise up early From the clear daylight of dawn I'm afraid you'll never be able to plough the rocks of Bonn. My boots are very worn, my clothes are ragged run, my heart is ever trembling. With so much work to be done My mind is always weary From nightfall until dawn In fear I'd never be able To plough the rocks of Bonn Arise, my gallant Sweeney, and give your horses hay, and feed them with your finest oats before you drive away. Feed them on the richest grass, sure it's down on your green lawn. If you don't, you'll never be able to plough the rocks of Bonn. My course attend you, Sweeney, for you have me nearly robbed. You're sitting by the fireside with your clay pipe in your gob. Contentedly you are sitting, no thought of work at dawn. And I know you'll never be able to plow the rocks of Bonn. I wish the Queen of England had wrote to me in time. And place me in a regiment While in my youth and prime I'd fight for Ireland's glory From clear daylight until dawn 
And I never would return again To plow the rocks of bonds